So do you, how many names do we have on the petition so far? Huh? For Randy and Helen O'Malley, if there's one thing standing up for, it's your beliefs. This may not be an evil act, but it is a wrong act. And if I stay silent, it'll just happen again. Through an online petition, the couple continues to fight a sudden name change at their son's school, Hartsdale Avenue Public School. At least, it used to be called that. Currently at this temporary location, a new building for the school is still under construction and is set to open this fall on Hartsdale Avenue. But in a surprise vote last December, the Peel District School Board decided to change it to Janet McDougald Public School, named in honor of its longtime serving chair. To be honest, the board named the school and did that. I was not there. I had no control over this process. The students had already grown attached to the name Hartsdale, and parents did too. We had no idea it was coming. We had no warning. In another twist, this came months after the board announced it's naming another school recognizing another sitting trustee, Beryl Ford. The school bearing her name is set to open here in Brampton this fall. And this brings us to another reason why parents are all up in arms. You see, school trustees are elected officials. And if Janet McDougald or Beryl Ford decide to run again in the next municipal election, some feel that having schools named in their honor is free political advertising. When naming schools, the chair says it's not policy to consult the public, even though other boards do. As for the supposed free advertising she's expected to get. I really don't think that that's what people will judge my work on. In the end, the chair doesn't plan on declining the honor. Ford doesn't either, only strengthening the O'Malley's resolve. Ryan Sang, Global News.